Hey everyone, it's been a while and uh, I have an update for you. I am going to be making videos again, but a lot of stuff has changed. So I need to make this update video so that you're aware of what's coming next to this channel and uh, what I'm going to be focusing on at least next. So recently I have had uh, some serious issues with my eye condition. Um, for those of you who don't know, I have Stargardt's disease and um, I thought it had kind of stabilized. However, uh, I think a couple weeks ago, maybe a month ago, I started getting some crazy, crazy glare. Um, for me, in my case, my right eye is way more dominant than my left. I use that for reading. My left eye sees a bit of color and stuff, but it it's, uh, basically can't see much of anything. And so uh, this issue that I've been having has been affecting my right eye, which means uh, for a while, I have been having a hard time with light surfaces, uh, you know, reflective light, things like looking at screens. There are some times where I just can't look at a screen just because the gl glare and the strain you get from staring at these things is just too much. I end up getting a migraine and uh, yeah, it's very, very unpleasant. Um, and I've been trying to deal with it. It's not easy, especially when everything that I'm used to is on a screen of some sort. Ever since this started happening, I've found that I need to wear sunglasses indoors now, uh, especially when uh, my eyes feel tired. Um, just they, they, they feel like they strain so much. And I've even noticed that those drops, those fake teardrops, uh, those really help with like relieving some of that strain as well. And what I've noticed is if I don't actually take care of it, I then end up getting like a really bad migraine and stuff. So sunglasses indoors is a thing that I've gotten used to. And uh, you might get used to seeing me with sunglasses on these videos. I, I mean, I can take them off, but yeah, it's, uh, it's just too much light, too much light. Um, something else that has happened, uh, and it's not just with the recent changes to my eyesight, I think it's just generally with uh, the level of deterioration as well as um, the culture here. Uh, I used to be able to just go around with my cane and do stuff. Now, however, uh, I'm finding it very unsafe to do such things. Like, I'm at a very high risk of getting kidnapped and uh, people have tried all sorts of stunts on me. Uh, things like um, pretending that they are the person who I'm supposed to be meeting because uh, I can't recognize faces. They pretend that I'm that person and then uh, they lead me somewhere and block my exit. Uh, like really crazy stuff has happened, um, including being followed, uh, you know, being derailed to go to their church so that they could cure me, like all sorts of insane things. Um, this has led me to be extremely dependent on other people. Uh, even for like going to places, I used to use Uber a lot. I can't anymore. It's not that safe now. Um, so yeah, that's that's a huge change for me as well. Um, uh, and so, yeah, big, big, big changes, and it's just been hard to adjust to all of these things. In terms of this channel, uh, I haven't uploaded a lot recently, and, um, that's just because of, uh, all the other, th uh, the, the reasons and the changes that I've been going through. However, I do want to get back in. And I'm thinking that with the way my condition is going, that I'm going to try and focus it more on accessibility. In terms of the type of content um, revolving around accessibility, 
it will still feature like video games. However, I might do more blog type videos, sort of like in this sort of format where I'm just talking about some of my experiences because uh, they're worth talking about and a lot of people don't talk about it, especially in Kenya, uh, where accessibility is not that great. Um, and the impressions that people get in like other countries that are more developed aren't always as accurate. So uh, there's that. Um, editing has become a real challenge as well. Uh, when I was going through some of these changes, uh, this is now last year, when I was, again, trying to figure out how to put out more content, I did try and look for a solution for editing. I approached several organizations and editors and, and companies who did editing and man, it was so expensive. Um, I can't remember exactly the amount, but it just wasn't feasible. Like if you want a uh, five to 10 minute video edited, it was coming to a, a cost of like over 20,000 Kenya shillings, which is uh, a lot for someone who's just starting out. I did try and do a thing with an intern uh, or like a, a newbie at one of these editing companies where uh, during his downtime, I'd give him some footage and he'd kind of practice um, some of the skills and I'd work with him to try and uh, make vlog type content. However, just the turnover with that and the rate at which uh, the work was being done, it just didn't pan out. Um, uh, so yeah, editing, I'll have to do it myself. Um, and that is a bit challenging. Also, my editing software is like 10 years old and it hasn't been working for a while, which is why I also went to try and look for a way of outsourcing the editing. But I was using PowerDirector 14 and Vegas Pro, I can't remember which one. And yeah, they both just can't import any videos anymore. Uh, and they are 10 years old, so I guess that's understandable. However, I'm gonna have to work on that. If you're seeing this video, it means I figured out a way to edit and I probably just caved and got the latest version of PowerDirector. So there you go. In terms of this channel content, uh, going back to this, even though it is a mix of blog type stuff and gaming type stuff, I'm not gonna have a separate channel for that. I did debate it and in the workshops I've gone to, they really encourage you to do that. However, it's just not a feasible thing for me, I think, if I am going to just focus on accessibility, let that be the umbrella. And where the accessibility is on, whether it's you know me trying out a restaurant or a new area or something, or me trying out a new game. Uh, I think that still falls under the same umbrella. So I'm not gonna have a separate channel for that. So an example of um, one of the games that I've been looking at recently is the first Dragon's Dogma game. So uh, this has some serious accessibility issues. However, the gameplay is fun. Uh, I should have edited at least two hours worth of content on that. Uh, after which I'll either continue with this game, I'm still thinking about whether to do like a let's play of it or just drop it and move on to the next game. There are several games I want to check out. Um, so we'll start off with Dragon's Dogma and, uh, and take it from there. Anyway, so thanks for uh, watching this little update thing. Um, just to reiterate, in terms of my eye condition, things might change again. Uh, so keep that in mind, and that again might affect uh, the direction of this channel. It is just the nature of the beast that is this condition. Um, I have always been told that I will not go completely blind. However, I am finding out every day that 
<laughs> what that what that really means because I'm now at a point where I'm thinking you can have zero usable vision and not be completely blind and uh, I really hope I don't get to that point but it is a very real possibility I think um, so I am just bracing for that in terms of what I'm doing to kind of like prep myself for this is I have really, really, really started looking very hard into learning Braille, which in Kenya is really tough. Uh, I will talk about that in a separate video because I think it's a topic in itself. Um, but as of yet, I have still not found a solution or a viable way to learn it. Uh, either myself or from a trainer. Uh, that's the long story short version of that, but I'll go into detail in a separate video. Anyway, so that's it from me. I hope you enjoy what I put out later on, and thanks again. Um, also, special thanks to all the random people who I have met in person uh, over the past couple of years who know me from the videos I put up. I had no idea that anyone even watched these. Uh, however, I did notice like when I do rewatch them, I'm like, ah, there's actually, I actually did something informative, which is kind of helpful. And it's also nice. I, I find it very uh, cool to kind of go back to these videos and watch and, and think about my thoughts and stuff and do a bit of introspection and stuff. Um, but like when other people come up to me and, and, and say, you know, they know me from the videos I do and stuff that that's really, uh, super encouraging. Cause yeah, I, I didn't think anyone really, uh, watched any of these. So cheers to that. Also the comment, the, the people commenting it's the same. I, yeah, I'm glad if these videos help you, I hope they continue to help you. And uh, yeah, cheers for commenting. That's very encouraging. Later.